when you review your pictures uh, using the LCD screen on the back side of a camera, there's a lot of useful information to be found here. And typically you flick through this uh, using the up and down buttons here. This is a Nikon uh, D5600, but I'm sure it works the same way on, on Canon and, and other models. But you may come across uh, the highlights option here, where you can see it is trying to tell me something. And this flashing uh, way of showing the picture that tells you that the camera believes that these parts are blown out. But be careful trusting this. And that's my point with this uh, video. Be careful trusting this because this is if the camera was in a JPEG mode, meaning that it would store the information processed in the JPEG way, if I can put it like that. But it may be that the information, if you provided your shooting in RAW, let me just show you here, you can see bottom right here, I'm shooting in RAW. It may not be that this is the truth. Um, so let's have a look in Lightroom and see what we can do about it. Yeah, so here we are in Lightroom, grid mode. Uh, I will just double click this picture. This is the 704792, the one that I showed you previously uh, on the little LCD screen. And here it is. And if I go into develop mode, press D, there it is. Now, if you look at the top right, as I move the cursor into this bright area, just right of the, of the, of the pole there, you will see that it's telling me that red is at 99.9, .9, green is the same, and blue is 99.8%. And this is, you know, very close to the limit. So it's basically telling me on a scale from a 1 to 100%, I'm giving you almost all I got. And that's probably also why <clears throat> the JPEG version of the picture on the camera was flashing because it's telling you that in the way it's, it's, it's showing you the picture, it has run out of options, it has done clipping. Um, so so um, that's why it was flashing on, on your LCD screen. But there's much more when you're shooting in RAW, there's much more information behind what you see here. And what it's basically telling you is the mapping from the data behind uh, this picture that you're seeing and to the screen. Um, it is in that mapping, it has run out of options. So if you filter or scale it a little bit differently so that the numbers will be represented differently, then you may be able to fix this problem. Let, let's see. First of all, notice that um, as I move the cursor around, it shows me the relative distribution of, of the, th the three colors. But also here, if I hoover, if I hoover the mouse over the top left triangle here in the histogram, you will see that in blue, it starts to show where it is uh, clipping sort of in the bottom of the picture, meaning all the dark sections. And if I do the same to the top right, it shows me that it has highlight clipping, it has run out of options for showing me the bright parts of the picture. If I push these buttons, let me do that, you can see then it, it stays, I don't have to hover uh, over these. So this is super useful because then you can see if some of the things you will do to fix the picture uh, actually helps. But let's try out with uh, highlight. These, these are the bright parts of the picture and notice how, boom, the red section went away and you suddenly start to see much more detail surfacing. Um, it looks like morning light, which it actually was, rather than just a very bright surface. Let me also see, and you, you, as you notice as I do this, the histogram moves to the left and uh, I can tell you this looks much more than what I saw when I took the picture than, than uh, was shown previously. Also, let's try and lift the shadows. And now you'll see the blue parts on the picture, they start to disappear. And notice what happens as I do 100% shadows lift. 
you will see rather than this being just black, it becomes green and shows you the trees and all the flowers and so on that I actually also saw this morning. I can also take the blacks and lift that just a little bit. And notice what happens if you see the, the top right corner, the leftmost triangle. Right now it's white and there's still some blue. But if I go a little bit to the right, you will see that the white triangle becomes gray. And that's telling you that there are no more clipping uh, in the black uh, sections of the picture. Uh, that uh, you have basically fixed the clipping issue. Same goes for the, for the bright one, but I just uh, wanted to show you here on the black side how it's done. So the question is of course, now you have fixed the issue, um, and what was it I saw this morning? Well, if I am to compare these two, let me just do like this, press Y here. You can see the left hand side, that is the picture that I that I started out with. The right hand side is um, the sort of the edited picture. But you can see in the right hand side now there are no, there's no clipping going on. And I would say the right hand side, because I took this picture at four o'clock in the morning, it is much closer to what I actually saw. So the, the problem has been, uh, you can say the representation of the picture and not the raw information as such. So be careful, that's my point with this video, be careful to trust uh, the clipping uh, or highlights illustration uh, on your LCD screen. It is based on the JPEG, it is not based on the raw information. And <clears throat> second point, this is a little bit of hidden uh, uh, <laughs> advertising for, for shooting in raw. I know it takes up a lot of more information takes more more disk space and la di da it's more cumbersome maybe to work with but man you get so many more options for recovering your picture and and the information in the picture to get something useful than you do on a JPEG. Had this been a JPEG I had never been able to recover this information that you just seen. Hope you found this useful. Thank you for watching. Take care.